Hey guys, it's time for today's word. Today it's got to be about comfort. You know what I do? I get three Bible verses. But I did it last time, so let's begin after I'm done drinking this coffee. <coughs> Alright, I can't. my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me, in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, the Lord will never forsake you. He will always call for you. Keep listen to that by the verse that meditate to it because it will help you it will help you through for things it will give you encouragement if you say if you pray that one sub you make it as a prayer it helps I prayed it for a hundred times before I did it before I just try to say so don't give up have encouragement. Let God's love keep you comforted. Because he loves you so much. He understands. Move on to the next Bible verse. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 35 of David. The Lord will save you if you feel a crush of your spirit. He will save you from that. He will comfort you. He will be there. He will be your God. He will never forsake you. No. He loves you that much. He will save you when you feel a broken your spirit. Even when you lost somebody, you lost a pet. You lost somebody. You lost somebody who was a very important to you, including your dog, or somebody you love. It could be a pet, too. But the Lord loves you that much, he will comfort you about it. He will get you through. Don't doubt say, the Lord can't do nothing about it for me. He can. He can do things for you. Even when you feel it so downtrod, he will help you through. No matter what, no matter what happened in your life, he forgive you, cause he loves you. So, move on to the next Bible verse. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Keep away from the love of money. Don't have a part of that. Because he's... The Bible verse tries to say, God said, He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So don't doubt. He will never forsake you. He will never give up on you. You have to realize that he will never give up on you. 
because he loves you so. He loves you very much. He will give up on you. God's love is very powerful. It changed a person's life. Because his love is great. His love is awesome. His love is powerful. His love is great. He will change you. He will free you. In the name of Jesus, he will set you free. I could get more Bible verses just for comfort reasons. I preach after I uh, filled the Bible verses after that. Okay. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I to you as the world gives. Do not your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard... Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Second Corinthian. Grace and peace to you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope those Bible verses give you comfort. I hope you are comforted. I hope the Lord does give you comfort. I hope he comforts you. Don't feel weak. Don't feel upset. Because God loves you. He will comfort you. God is great. He loves you. He will comfort you. He is wonderful. He is great. He is powerful. God is so wonderful. He will comfort you. He will love you. Forever. Amen. So. If you're a. Person who has not been saved. Go to my video. How to. Truly to repent. I may have got a rock. So. You go on that. If you need instruction to help you. If you feel it on your heart, if you feel a heart, your heart is tugging to repent, to re then repent. That's what God is calling you right there. When He's calling you, that's the time to repent. Then ask Jesus to save you. So, you're a new person. <laughs> It believes in Christ, you know, if you listen to that. This is to help my brothers and sisters of Christ to hear things. My cousins are coming home and stuff, so my cousin, my cousins. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Like, like this video, subscribe, support my ministry. I know some of you on Facebook are watching this. Support my ministry. So. God bless you guys. And thanks for watching.